The reason I'm trying to promote everyday heroism is not just that somebody will oppose some evil, but in doing so publicly, you create a ripple effect. A whistleblower, somebody who steps out in an organization against the wishes of a superior or against the interests of the immediate team, the first thing said about them will be that they are uh, <coughs> pathological right, in right. some ways. There's very little research on heroism. What's involved in getting a good person to do bad things? I can give you a recipe. We, there's, a, there's at least a dozen psychological processes that, that I could manipulate to get most people in a short time to do bad things. You say, well, what, what could make an ordinary person do a heroic deed? The answer is, we don't know. I mean, it's really, it's a curious phenomena that in psychology, sociology, criminology, civics, Nobody has studied heroism. There are examples of people who have done this. It's something you can do. Right. Ordinary people. It can be done. The stakes can be very, very high, worth doing. Mm -hmm. Humanity, I'm saying, actually, and the nuclear and the climate change are both two subjects that were never mentioned in the presidential debates right. we've just gone through. The fate of humanity from uh, nuclear war or climate change. That can be, uh, the stakes can be very high. It can make a difference. It can work right. Right. If you, when you bring this out. Because those are things that you just don't ordinarily hear or right. learn. Right. And if you do, it changes your life. Thank you.